Hey golfers, welcome back or welcome to the channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Danny and I'm an 18 handicapped golfer. And today we are in for a real treat and not because of the way I played golf. We are playing on one of Florida's finest, a top 25 course as rated by Golf Digest. We will be playing Kelly Plantation today in Destin, Florida. Today we'll be playing the front nine from the Palmetto Tees. That'll have a yardage of 5904, a slope of 121, and a general rating of 69.1. Certainly one of the harder courses we've played this year on the channel. Nice. And I'm gonna start there with a par putt. What a way to start the round. Excited about that and feeling good as we take off here on the second. Playing with Matt today, another blunder boy. He will be featured in a video to follow, playing the back nine. All right, so here we are on the second shot of this par five dog leg left i absolutely screw that shot up i am playing with rentals today but it wasn't the club's fault Just didn't keep my head down all right so we're about 250 yards out on this third shot and one of the best shots i've ever made from a bunker hit that really well really flush and put myself in a position to attack the hole here wedge in hand and i'm gonna have about 100 yards to the pin we're gonna go pin seeking. The ball is gonna roll off the back. We'll see Matt here with an excellent chip on. From where we were, it looked like he had a chance to put that ball in. All right, so here I am just off the putting surface for a long attempt at par. And a decent effort from there, but certainly a little shorter than I would have expected. And I do just miss the bogey putt, so that'll be the first double bogey of the day, plus two after two. Gonna take off here on the third, the first par three. Did not hit that ball well, but better to be lucky than good as we will roll off the back of the green here. And a decent chip on with the nine iron, but the balls are gonna roll a lot more than I'm used to. We played in May down in Florida, versus May in Cleveland, Ohio. So balls were flying in the air and they were rolling on the green. All right, so trying to save the bogey, we'll miss that shot for the first or the second double bogey of the day, plus four after three. And sometimes things go from bad to worse and I am going to put that ball in the woods, force a punch out here and don't put it where I wanted, have that tree in my line of attack and end up pulling the ball off to the left. In the sand again, but another good sand out. And I played really well from the sand today. That was probably the best part of my game. And it certainly helped to mitigate what could have been much bigger blow up holes as we card our third double bogey in a row. We're gonna watch Matt take off here with a huge drive. He was hitting the ball really well. So stay tuned for his back nine to follow this video. All right, so I'm gonna try and duplicate that and I hit the ball okay, but it is gonna trail off just to the left as a bit of a hook starts to develop as this round continues. In a bit of trouble, but I do have an opening here and I am able to thread the needle. Looking for the fairway, I do believe it's gonna roll just off the right into the first cut, but we're gonna be 85 yards from the pin. And a great shot on, we're gonna land on the putting surface for a chance to save par. We're gonna give that a good look and put it about pin high just off the right. And we're gonna clean that up for a bogey. So we're back to bogey golf as we head here into the sixth. And that power hook is just getting stronger as I throw this ball well to the left and find myself in a lot of trouble here. I am able to punch out and do avoid that sand trap as we march down the fairway here. 280 out, just trying to move the ball forward. Don't have a club for that and was not comfortable hitting the hybrids in the rental bag. All right, 140 out here on our fourth shot. This is a par five, so we have some opportunities here to to uh, save a decent score. And we did find ourselves off the back of the putting green, but a great putt there, and we will clean up for another bogey. So back-to-back -back bogeys as we enter the back three of the front nine. 
and now the power hook is gone and the slice has come out to haunt me and we are going to put that ball in the water so we'll take the penalty on our third shot here 190 yards out we hit that ball well we're gonna chip it on and we just miss the pin try and clean up for bogey and we're gonna miss that as well we're gonna take the double bogey and you hate to see it but at least it wasn't any worse especially given nice the shot, penalty man. stroke and i'll see matt just take another great swing and nice put a Ooh. really good ball out there as he lands it close to the pin and i am going to do the exact opposite and throw mine in the water for the second hole in a row taking our third shot here gonna get it on the green and then have it roll off and fail to execute on that chip to salvage something and i'm just gonna leave it short so we're going to walk away with the triple bogey first triple bogey of the day we move on here to the ninth we need a par or better to break 50 and we hit that ball straight but put it right into the sand trap 150 yards out had the seven iron in hand and i hit that well again again sand play was what kept me in this round so we are putting for our first birdie of the round though though be it a long birdie putt we'll give it a decent look and we save the par to break 50 and we can so we nice. bookend the rounds with pars as a 49 guys all in all pretty happy with that if you like this kind of content like and subscribe for more thanks for watching